I am a hot mess today. Oh my gosh, y'all have no idea. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. It is almost July. Someone slap me. It is literally, we are, okay, in six months, 2020 will have been two years ago. I know. But today I am talking about my June favorites because you guys love these videos. I love filming them. I really analyze the products that I use throughout the month. I pay attention to quality. I pay attention to how much I use it. I pay attention to why I use it, what I use it for. And I only allow myself at most five products per category. And that's what I'm sharing with you guys today. So everything I'm talking about is going to be linked in the description bar below for you guys to shop along with like hair, makeup, outfit details, all of it. It's all down there. While you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I would love, love, love to have you join my YouTube fam. Let's go ahead and get started because I got a lot to talk about today. Okay, so I'll start out with the random stuff. So I shared, I think it was last month maybe or even a couple months ago for the first time, like my favorite TV shows, my favorite snacks. And a lot of you guys actually love that. So I'm gonna share them with you. The first I, well, the first two are TV shows that I'm really loving. Last month I said Real Housewives of New York. I'm still loving that one, but I have hit pause on it because I picked back up watching SWAT. <sighs> Shamar Moore. Like, do I need to really say more? When he left Criminal Minds, I stopped Criminal Minds and went to SWAT. And I, I, Shamar Moore. Like, that's really it. That's, that's the whole, that's the whole statement. SWAT, you need to watch it, Shamar Moore. And it's good because, like, my husband actually watches it with me and, you know, he gets his action and I get my eye candy. So, that has been a show I have started rewatching again because I started watching it, I think, last fall and then we kind of paused on it, watched some other things. The second show is Modern Family. I used to watch it actually in high school, I think with my older sister, like kind of, like I wouldn't really watch it, but I would like listen to it in the background. So now my husband and I are going through it watching it and I'm like, oh my God, I remember this episode. Like it's really funny. So Modern Family is like good, simple humor. It's not political, which actually SWAT has gotten political in season four. Um, and when I'm watching TV, like that's just the one thing I don't want to watch. Like if I'm watching a show on Netflix, um, you know, if I want to get political, I'll just turn on the news. And so I like that Modern Family just like doesn't really worry about that. Um, so those are the two shows we've been watching a lot here this month. The other two things are actually food. So the first is I'll just put a little picture up right here because I have them in my fridge and I didn't want to like get them out and like have them warm up because they need to stay cold is this kale salad. I thought I was living under a rock when I found it because I told you guys, I was like, oh my gosh, on Instagram, this is like the best salad ever. And a bunch of you guys were like, yeah, girl, like what are you doing? Why have you not had that salad before? If you're gonna eat salad, it needs to actually have benefits. And to me, like just eating romaine lettuce, it wasn't worth it. Like I love salad so much, but I wanted to be eating something that was like also had benefits like kale. This one has Brussels sprouts. Um, it has like seven superfoods in it. And so I've really loved that salad this month. It also has poppy seed dressing, which is delicious. And it does not have dairy. From what I know, you guys have told me, I get mine at Walmart or in, uh, Publix. You could also get them at Ingles. I think some of you guys said Costco. I even saw some of you guys said Trader Joe's. Just the packaging may vary. And then the second thing, going back to the going dairy free this month, um, is oat milk. So I have tried Nut Pods and I do really like that brand. Uh, but I've never been someone who really needed like like French vanilla or hazelnut flavoring to my coffee. I just usually like coffee with a little bit of creamer, but I wanted to cut out dairy um, in the month of June and y'all, oat milk is so good. Like oat milk lattes in the morning are 10 out of 10, but I do want to talk about going dairy free for a second and what it did for my periods. I know that is a little bit TMI, but I don't really think there's such a thing as TMI, especially here on my channel where I want to help you guys. Um, I will put a picture up of a little highlight reel here. So I talk a little bit more about what I've done, the products I use, but I have 100%, I am not kidding, eliminated my period cramps. A couple months ago, I talked about um, flex menstrual discs here on my channel, and I also talked about the raspberry leaf tea that I drink during my period and how those helped my cramps so much. I can't remember what video it was, but those just like completely changed the game. And last month I got a couple cramps leading up to my period. And then the next morning I woke up and I was like, oh, oh my 
cramps went away. I guess I'm not getting my period today, but I had started it. And so I was like, okay, like maybe they'll come tomorrow. And then they didn't. And then I was like, okay, maybe they'll come the next day. And so I went down a research rabbit hole for why all of a sudden I literally had zero cramps. Like none, nothing. I had cramps leading up to my period. And once it started, nothing. Not discomfort, not bloating. And basically all I read, and a bunch of you guys even told me, it's like kind of an old wives tale. Like your grandmother used to tell you not to drink uh, like milk during your period. Going dairy free, I didn't have cramps. So I know that's really random and this is a favorites video, but I wanted to share that here because y'all like look it up, look up the research behind it. There are facts behind it and wow. Like I told my mom, like I feel like like high school sex ed failed me because they were just like, oh cramps like are happen and they can be bad. Take some Midol and suck it up buttercup and like use a tampon, that's it. And now in my adult life, I feel like there are so many more options and I have completely eliminated my cramps. Like 100%, not being dramatic at all. I have none anymore. Now actually into the favorites of the month that I have with me. So let's start out with fashion. I want to give a shout out to this bag. So this, um, I have a review video up on the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is the medium size, but I traveled with this when we went to Jamaica this month and I have to give such props to this bag. It is called a Neverfull for a reason. It literally is never full. Like you cannot make this bag full. It is, it fits everything. Um, but this was one of my, so this was my personal item um, with a carry on suitcase like as well. So this was kind of like just my purse, which is what it is for day to day. But when I traveled with this, my husband and I took hard sided carry ons. And so it was a lot to like, you know, pull out our laptop or my iPad headphones, all that stuff. So we just like, once we got to our gate, pulled all that out of the suitcase and threw it into my never full. This, I actually took a picture of it, fits perfectly under the seat plane. So no flight attendants were coming by and they were like, hey, that doesn't fit. Like we had a couple times where like ladies beside me would bring like big bog bags, I think is what they're called. And they like did it from under there. The flight attendants were like, yeah, that's gotta go up top. You can't keep that at your feet. So this fits underneath the seat and it still fits everything. So I wanted to give a shout out to that bag because it is actually never full. I see what they did there. It is one of my favorite bags probably of all time. Like the best travel bag I've ever, ever used. The next thing that I, y'all. Okay, so I took these on vacation with me um, to Jamaica. I took a couple pairs of shoes, like three or four pairs of shoes. And I wore these almost every single night because the studs on these, it's like multicolored. Um, I feel like the lights are kind of washing them out because they are like LED, so they're really bright, but these have kind of like a multicolored stone to them, like just depending on where you look, you can kind of see like yellow, iridescent, like purple, blue, green. It just, it's very light. And I feel like I wore these a lot at the beach because they matched with everything. I had a bunch of like Walmart dresses that were um, like neon colors. I had some that were like yellow and orange. I had a pink dress that I wore from Target. I had a blue dress that I wore from Amazon and those shoes matched with everything and they were really comfortable and this resort was huge and so, I really did a lot of walking. I will link in the description bar my res resort review that I put up today. But y'all, these shoes, I wore them, I kid you not, almost every single night when we were in Jamaica. They match with everything. Size up half in them. Like all Steve Madden shoes, size up one half. So this is actually a fan favorite that I didn't realize was a favorite of mine. So I wear this Free People, it looks so tiny. Like look how tiny this looks in comparison to me. This is a Free People movement top. I have two here. Um, I will show you guys what they look like on because this is kind of hard to show you. But I bought these and I wasn't sure how I felt about them at first because they're not super supportive in the chest. And I have 34 triple Ds and very broad shoulders. So my boobs are also like wide like apart. And so I need support. And I just wasn't sure about it. But what I've basically found is they're not great for running and they're great for everything else. This is my all time favorite favorite top when I'm going on walks. And I go on a walk almost daily because I like to hit 10,000 steps. And it gives enough support that your boobs aren't like, you know, shaking all over the place, but you're also not having to wear a really constricting sports bra. And as someone with 34 triple Ds, like that's a big deal. And a lot of you guys actually really like this color. So I ordered a ton of more stuff today from Free People Movement. Um, I might share it in a YouTube video. I might not, we'll just have to see. It depends on how much stuff it is when it all comes in, but these Free People Movement tops are so good, y'all, and the quality is like, they're very thick, very well made. I got a medium large in both of these because um, they do, I wanted them to fit to my, like more my boob size rather than my like actual body size, and that was a really good call, but they do stretch a lot, but they're still very like secure. I feel like you could probably do any like 
low or moderate you know activity in these just nothing high intensity no running and you could probably do anything if you have small boobs if you have big boobs just like only low impact stuff <laughs> i guess just let me know below if you guys want to see a like a uh, little haul of the workout clothes that i got because i realized i need to like really step up my game i just have like the same pair of shorts i've been rotating over and over now that it's hot outside i have a lot of cute leggings but not a lot of cute like shorts and tank tops and stuff so that's why i placed a big order today the next thing Mm, my favorite product of all is my Jesus hat. I bought this second to last day while we were at the beach and it showed up before I got home. So the shipping on this is really fast. It might just be because she already had one um, from her Etsy shop already made with like this same format. But basically it's from Etsy so you can customize. I got the black baseball hat. You can get a trucker hat that has the mesh back here. Um, you can pick your hat color I believe and also your text color. And I got the white text with just a black baseball hat. So so I really like trucker hats. I just felt like I wanted this one to be a little bit nicer, but every time I wear this, I get compliments because I mean, I think you guys know the world just needs a little bit more Jesus. And so anytime I can wear something and someone sees it and they like think of him, I'm like, we're doing good. So that is why I really love this hat. Um, I mean, also it's like cute. Like I'm, I'm probably going to get some Christian out there who tells me that that like is so wrong of me to care about something like that. But like it's a cute hat and it's okay for something that says Jesus on it for me to also find it appealing. Just so you know. And then the last product, y'all, this Tory Burch bracelet. So I'm going to do a close-up of this. Oh my gosh, I have never been so happy with a bracelet. So I love Cartier Love bracelets, but I think they range like, aren't they like $1,000 or $7,000 or something insanely, overwhelmingly like expensive? Everyone makes their own kind of like similar version of it, but I've seen a lot on like Amazon. I've seen a lot from just other retailers and they want you to pay like $50 to $60 for these bracelets that look like they're Cartier, but they're not. And I find that they scratch or they make your arm break out. And so I was like, there's gotta be something better out there. And I was actually scrolling through Tory Burch's website one day and I saw this and I was like, oh shoot, that's amazing. So it came in and this quickly became a top seller on my Instagram. You guys, this looks like from a distance, this looks like a Cartier Love bracelet because of the Tory Burch logos all over it. It does just have a little button on the side so that you can easily open it up. You don't have to like slide it over your wrist or anything. And then it just snaps right on. So I have been wearing this a lot lately. I also bought the ring, but it has not come in yet. So I'll keep you guys updated, but so far the quality of this is amazing. I love Tory Burch jewelry. Um, and this one is just like, again, a little bit more expensive than some of those others out there, but this one isn't gonna like chip or tarnish or break your arm out. So I have been wearing this nonstop. Okay, now we're in the last category, which is the beauty category. And I don't wanna butcher the name. I think it said Belay is how I've heard it said, but I could be wrong about that. It's B-E-L-E-I. And it is a skincare brand that is clean from Amazon. So it is actually Amazon skincare. It's cruelty free. Um, I believe it's like sulfate free, paraben free, the whole nine. I will link the full, like I'll link these products below, but I'll also link the landing page to it on Amazon for you guys. So you can kind of look into it yourself. But I tried out these products this month and I have been completely floored because one, I didn't know they made a clean skincare and two, I didn't know it could be this good. So this is the triple peptide eye cream. So far I've only used this at night. I haven't tried it under my makeup just because I do love the Tula eye balm under my makeup. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. So I have used this one at nighttime only, but so far I've been very impressed with it. It doesn't make my eyes irritated. It doesn't you know, give me that like crusty eye in the morning like some other products do. And while that one says you can use it morning and night, I've just only used it at night. This is the Ferulic Acid Vitamin C and E Serum. I think everybody and their mothers needs to use this under your makeup every day. Um, there are lots of skincare brands that actually have this kind of serum now. It makes such a difference over time in like tightening your skin, shrinking those pores, kind of like making all those fine lines and wrinkles really kind of disappear. Um, but again, I mean, you do need to use it over the course of time. It's not like a one and done kind of thing. So I was very impressed that they had one of these and I've been using it under my makeup and it hasn't like made my makeup break up at all. It's really like, it's very much so overperformed in my opinion. And then this is the Belay Vitamin C Moisturizer. I was very shocked by the size of this. It's large, but this one I have only used in the morning time. So this one says you can use it alone or 
under makeup, so I do believe this is meant to be more of a daytime product. Um, there is a lot of product in here, and all of this stuff is also very, very affordable. But I've been putting this under my makeup too, and it just feels very hydrating on my skin. And again, it hasn't broken up any of my makeup. I've been very happy with it so far. So I've been using these. I got these like a full week and a half maybe before Prime Day, so I want to say like the first week of June, um, and I've been using them ever since. I put this in the beauty category because this is also something that has just made a huge difference in my life, in my skin, in how I feel, in my energy levels. Drinking water, I have talked about this for months. I've shared water bottles of all kinds here, I think through my monthly favorites, through Amazon videos for a very long time now. And this has actually been one of my favorite water bottles just because it's a very cool color. It actually matches my phone case. I'm like very into this ombre like look, but this is a 40 ounce bottle from Amazon. It is a fraction of the price of some of the others that I have seen online. And it keeps your water cold for a very long time. I drink between 80 to 120 ounces of water a day. More often than not, it is the 120 outside um, but I like that this bottle comes in lots of colors and size options so my husband he's like I cannot carry around a 40 ounce bottle like it just it would stress me out he was like I want a small one so I believe he got the 24 I went with the 40 ounce and I think my mom got the 40 ounce or maybe the 36 ounce I'm not sure we have all the size bottles in different colors and they all have performed great the only thing we haven't done is put them in the dishwasher just because I don't wash water bottles in the dishwasher I just hand wash it um, so drink your water it's very important so drinking a lot of water every day really was something that changed my life recently and so I wanted to include it in the beauty category okay last thing and then I will be done talking so this is actually the product I'm going to talk about but it goes hand in hand with this from Amazon so this is the V-Line Lifting Hydrogel Collagen Mask. I've used a couple forms of these masks and basically you like loop it around your ears you wear it for about an hour I wear, I try to wear mine like once or twice a week. Sometimes I forget. Um, but this is not a one and done kind of deal. You have to use this over the course of time. When used over the course of time, it will tighten up that skin underneath your chin. I am not even kidding. I like kick myself. I'm the worst person ever at taking before pictures because I get so excited to try stuff. But y'all, this stuff actually works. Little pro tip, cut the ear holes a little bit more before you put them on your ears because I swear my ears were like bleeding almost the first couple times I used these because it's so tight. So do, you know, you can make some minor revisions but don't cut it so much that the mask get loose you want it to still be tight under your skin. So I've been using this for, I mean, at least 10 months, maybe a year at this point. I wanna say I started using them last summer and I love them, but then I saw Jen Reed talking about how she uses this Clarins mask underneath this. And I was like, she is a freaking evil genius. Like she is so smart. So this is the Clarins. Oh God, I can't, mm -mm. nope. Just gonna put, put a little, uh, Put a little picture up on the screen of the name of this because a little southern ass is going to butcher that. Um, it does not have a strong smell to it, but it does have a scent. So that's the one thing about it that I'm kind of like, oh, I wish it didn't have that. But it's not overwhelming and it doesn't break out my sensitive skin. But this is an extremely amazing depuffing mask. She uses hers, I think she said she uses hers for like 20 minutes. It says you should use it. Um, around 10 minutes and then rinse it off. But she says she leaves hers on for about 20 to 25 a couple times a week or like before she has an event or before she's gonna have like family pictures or something. And she will put this all over her face and her neck right here and then put this on. Y'all, her skin is beautiful and she is almost 40. Like, or she'll be 39 in this fall. Her skin is gorgeous. So this is a combo that you need, especially if you struggle with loose skin like I have. I've actually really, really changed the loose skin that I was already starting to get at such a young age when I started using these last year, but this has just been an added bonus lately. Okay, friends, so that was a lot to throw at you, but I had a lot of good products this month. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around with me for another month here on YouTube. I'm so grateful for you guys. So grateful for this platform, this community, my friends. You guys are the best. Don't forget to go below and click the subscribe button if you're new here. Love you guys so much. And don't forget, in a world where you can be anything, please always choose to be kind. I'll see you guys in my next video.